Alright, so we got Morgan here. Uh, 3.5k McCree. Uh, it's a little bit too much already. Let's see. Uh, I watched a little bit of this already, not that much. Um, maybe like first half. It's a pretty quick review. A seven and a half minute game. Um, this dude was drunk at the time, so uh, some things that I already noticed were like reaction time wasn't really that fast, wasn't the audio cues. Um, we'll see that as we go, but that might be because of that. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Uh, one thing is they throw a nade right away, you just kind of like watch it go. <laughs> like they could have used to hit you, but you didn't even try to avoid it really. Um, see on the high ground is fine. Um, if we go back to where you were. Uh, you're just up in the open, you don't have a shield, so you won't be using natural cover. Uh, maybe be hugging. Like. Over here first, so you can tuck behind if you need to. Um, if you're back this far, you can't really see anything. So that's probably where I would set up here. Um, I don't play a lot of McCree, but um, I guess you can't. You are able to have a little bit more uh, freedom with that, like how out in the open you set up. If you use your uh, roll to get back to cover, so if you want to stay a little bit further away and then just roll over when you need cover, that's fine. Instead of just walking. Um, but you don't always have that on cooldown, so I'd probably just be playing over here just in case anyway. Because you don't even know what they're running right now. So. Always want to play a little bit safe until you know. Screaming black for a second there. Anyway. Okay, so see they have a pharaoh. Taking your time to get the shots, which is fine, because it looks like they don't have a mercy. No, they don't. Um so you know you just need to hit three shots on them. Um let's go back, let's see. After the first time they hit you, you probably want to roll away. It's your mercy leaves you. Oh, okay, after the second shot. So we go back to this really quick instant instance. Yeah, okay, you hit them once, so you need two more shots on them. At this point here, you're at 89, you need to hit two shots on them. They're fair, they just need to hit one on you. Usually, that doesn't go in your favor. That's why. In the Ash Widow duel, uh, Widow will usually win because it takes two shots from an Ash, uh, one for a Widow. It's the same instance here. Uh, it just takes one shot from this Pharaoh. You need to land two. You do, but it's a little bit more risky. Uh, I'd probably just roll back to safety. Or your Mercy's up here. Yeah, it seems really far pushed up. I just play back. Maybe even if you absolutely have to go get this mega. So taking yourself out of the fight for a really long time, but it's better than dying. Um, but yeah, I don't know why your team's just pushed up this far in the first place. It's a little much on the switch things, I guess. Okay, you hear the hog on the right. Ignore him, he gets hooked. Luckily, he doesn't hit the one shot. So yeah, paying more attention to sound cues. They're not running like any sort of shield tank. So you can sort of you can abuse the tanks by just farming shots of them all day. The only problem is they're running double flyers, so I guess you kinda have to focus them since we only hit scan. That's such a echo. So we actually see what was going on with the nano. The wall up. You should be fine. Oh, 
Okay. Yeah, so you watch this part already once. Uh, we've got high noon. I don't know why you're going on the, like, so far out of the fight to do this high noon. Yeah, you want to catch the fire out with it. But did, honestly, did you even know? Fair was okay, sorry. I don't know. This could have been done just as easily. So, right here. Just stay here. The closer to your team, you got caught out after this, I know, because you dropped down and there's nowhere to help you. Stay here. You still have the cover. Yeah, the diva can push you, but your team is able to help you in this position. So, all you gotta do with high noon oops, uh, against the Farron is just wait for them to uh, jump shed because then they can't get away. Um, so if we stayed here this fight, we could still be getting value, shooting tanks, whatever. I might cover if you need to, but then that was a little bit earlier. Let's see, just keep an eye on the pair, jump jets, just time doing it right there. But we've gotten the same value out of it. Um, but it's... Then when D.Va pushes you, You'd actually be able to get healed from your teammates. Just here. You, yeah, you drop down, you're just so far out of the fight. Or if you're over here, you roll this way if the diva pushed you. This is a lot easier. Mercy's right there, Lucy's right there. Anybody can come help you. <laughs> Watch and learn. Jesus, you. Oh, another thing I noticed. You're only really using your roll for movement. I haven't seen you use it for reload more than like once or twice. And it's not like that much faster. Uh, sorry. I actually looked it up beforehand. It takes. Uh, 1.2 seconds to reload normally, and with the roll, it's only 0.4 seconds, so you're cutting out almost a full second of firing time, uh, which is close to two shots. So you can up your DPS just by rolling more often if you want to like play safe and keep your roll in case you need it for movement. That's, that's fine. Um, you can take more aggressive angles, whatever, but I don't know. You're not really playing like with natural cover a whole lot right now anyway like this position for example you just out of the open like the parachuting where can, where can you go to hide if you absolutely have to like all the way up here no. like all the way back here even if you're here the ferry can still shoot you like it'd be much better to be up here and then use your roll for reloads and whatever and you can just have behind cover for shooting at you yeah that's splash damage whatever at least it's not being able to say who directs constantly. So. Um, what's another thing with high ground against Ferris? Um, it's not really talked about a whole lot, but just the angle that you're shooting at is a little bit easier. So if you're here, you're only looking up. Uh, I don't know. I'd have to like draw and figure it out. Maybe it's like 45 degrees, but here it's like 55. Like, it's not that big of a difference, but I know uh, if people are, like, straight above you, which a lot of fairies like to, um, it's such a pain in the ass to shoot at them, because if they're, like, straight up and they go behind you, you have to rotate all the way around 180 degrees, and it's just really hard to track. Um, so if you can keep the angle as low as possible, uh, just by taking high ground, that'll make it easier to land those shots. And we'll reduce fall of range too, a little bit. But... Not close enough. Can we find it again? So I haven't seen this, so let's see how I use this one. Yeah, once you use the Echo, uses fly, you can use it immediately. Or just here. 
have to try to deny that. Okay, you're behind it. Yeah. He had a couple different instances where he could have gotten a lot of value out of the high noon. So let's see. Okay, so you had it right there. Right here. Okay, right here. They're still in Fera. Yeah, they are. So looking for Echo using Fly or Fera using Jump Jet. Can High Noon them? Yeah, this probably wouldn't be the safest High Noon. I could just uh, Sticky Bomb you. You don't have any cover. You don't have a shield. Just ask, like, simply asking for a shield High Noon is really useful. I do it all the time when I do play with Creed, which isn't a ton, but to shield High Noon, it's like not that good crazy of a combo they <laughs> just hold the rectangle but since you can't move you need that cover and you can't really use natural cover all that well because um, you're not gonna be like jiggle peeking or anything you have to sit out in the open long enough for it to lock on or whatever so so you maybe could have done something with echo there but once they clone you can roll over to the left and just hold high noon so the they have to hold shield and maybe not um, get their shot her off, especially when they're nanoed. Uh, the Diva does push you though. Um, so if you were high nooning, they would still do the same thing. But this is just a feed here anyway. Like, look how far our position they are. They're literally surrounded by your whole team. Because um, they're trying to, I guess, make space for their echo to shatter a sin wall. <laughs> but, um, yeah, making him make that decision to come dive you if you're high nooting is fine if it takes him out of position. I don't know. Your mercy should be healing you through uh, or damage boosting your high noon anyway. So. And then right here is another chance you can use it. Just tiny in the fair, right? Like, you don't need to go and have to three tap or just tiny. I. Would high noon this fair all day. Especially since you have that shield there that you could use. Yeah, there's one. You almost got that echo there. That was a bad idea. But then, yeah, again, why'd you drop back here? Just chasing the echo, I guess. Yeah, so you know, saw that echo dropped on, but you know she's going to be full HP, because, like, you didn't hit that shot on her. Um, if you did hit the shot, she would be dead. So it's not like you got her low or anything, you're just trying to finish it. Like, just taking this duel one-on-one -on -one isn't that great. Just play with your team. Like, I don't know, if you're caught out here, you can't do anything. Especially since the fair comes over and helps. Like, it's just a 2v1 at this point, you're just dead. So, yeah, I don't know. Go stay on high ground, ask for your mercy to come help. You really needed healing, drop down, play with Lucio, but yeah, I don't think dropping down here is the call. We almost got this. Don't screw it up. Yeah, you can hear the fur. You know she's still alive behind you. So again, paying attention to audio cues. Ferris is bad to have a barrage in the last fight. You could have easily taken this point. Playing high ground a little bit more. 
like the area above point is so good for good scans on this map. I'd be using that for sure. So you just roll them here? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I'll give you a good two minute hold, but... Or maybe not. Yeah, it's still in 40 seconds. One minute hold, yeah. Okay, I just roll here. Let's see what happens. I think I not have Wraith. What is he doing? Jesus. He has Wraith. So after the stuff. Yeah, you're the champ. Uh, wasn't that big of a window, but still should have been able to break away from that. There for a second. I don't know. Why don't you push the mercy? Okay. He right, killed his end. Just roll over. Or you don't have roll. Just kill the mercy. Like, did they use res earlier? They did on the. Yeah, I guess. My Reaper. But, let's see how long they have. It's gotta be pretty close, right? Yeah, five seconds on res. You want to be over there on that body, just so they can't res. But you're just sitting here. What am I doing? Put it on my tab. Yeah, this is more than me being dumb <laughs> than you really popping off. I guess like, you did your job. You're dealing with the birds already, but. Yeah. I don't know, your damage definitely could have been higher. Um, you're looking for more, just more opportunities to take shots. Like, it seems like there's just a lot of waiting around. Uh, not using roll, not using natural cover. I mean, it's a short replay, so there's not much you can look at. It was kind of a stomp anyway. You full held and then capped in a minute, so. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, high noon decisions, like you don't always have to go on flanks. Just look for small opportunities just to get one kill. Don't have to flank and try and get to 6k. Especially if it puts you in a place where you're putting yourself at risk by being there. Yeah, that's about it. Not bad. <laughs>